So if you've forgotten your trigonometry, then I have a solution for you. First thing we need to do when we're dealing with trigonometry, for now, is put our calculator in degrees. And let me show you what that looks like. More than likely, if your memory on your calculator has been reset, then you are in radians. So on your calculator, press mode. It's that button right there. Go down to degrees and press enter. So now you're in degrees. There are two ways of measuring angles, radians and degrees. And we need to be in degrees for now. We'll deal with radians later. So we will quit, second, and quit. And now we'll be able to do any trigonometry problem that we need. So here's a quick crash course in trigonometry. If you have a right triangle, and we're just going to call this angle theta. It's a Greek letter theta, T-H-E-T-A. Then we can name every other angle every other side in this triangle based on that angle. So we have three options. One of them is going to be opposite this angle. Opposite meaning across from. So this is the opposite side. One of them is adjacent to it. And they are both adjacent, but this one actually is the adjacent leg. Adjacent leg meaning it makes a right angle. Adjacent, and this is the hypotenuse. Okay. And then we have our three major trig functions that we use. And one of them is sine. So the sine of any angle, sine of theta, is equal to the opposite divided by, divided by the hypotenuse. Depends by adding ink. Cosine of our angle is adjacent divided by our, our hypotenuse. And tangent is opposite over adjacent. I really hope you can see that. My pen's about dead. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is get a triangle and we're going to figure out some things that are missing. So let me erase the triangle I have. And I'm going to make up a random problem just off the top of my head. Okay, It's going to be similar to one of the problems that's on yours, on your uh, worksheet, your quiz. Um, Let's suppose you are um, standing and you're looking at a building. So you're standing and you're looking at a building. We'll make this building kind of tall. It's going to be ridiculously tall. Okay, and let's suppose, there, and this phrase might happen in there, the angle of elevation to the top of the building is 42 degrees. So in the problem it might say your angle of elevation to the top of the building is 42 degrees. So the angle of elevation is 42. Elevation means it looks up. But if you looked straight ahead, you'd be looking that direction. And that would make a right angle. That's going to be important. So if this is 42 degrees, then we are going to be able to figure out everything else we need. Now, let's suppose the problem said that you were, I don't know, 200 feet away from the building. So you're 200 feet away from the building. And if this is 200 feet, then of course this is 200 feet. They're, they're the same thing. And, and I want us to stop right here and just kind of notice what we see. There is a triangle here. And based on this triangle, we'll be able to solve everything we need to solve. So um, we are asked to find the height of the building. So what we're looking for is this entire height. Now, let me clarify, we can find this. What we don't know is this. However, in your problem, it told you what that is. Let me start my problem over. My eyes are six feet off the ground. I'm standing 200 feet from a building, and I look up at the top of it with an angle of elevation of 42 degrees. How tall is the building? OK. Everything I just said is the same information you have in your problem, but now what we need to do is figure out how to find x. Now. Once we find x, we're still not done, because it said find the height of the building. Yours says flagpole. So we, we can find x, but now we have to find the whole thing. So we have to add 6 to it. So knowing we're looking for the height of the building, and we know that this is 200, we have a lot of what we need. We have an angle. We are looking for a side that is opposite that angle. And we know the adjacent side. We have opposite and we have adjacent. 
opposite and adjacent, it must be tangent. So we're going to set up an equation that is a tangent equation. So here we go. Let's grab a marker. The tangent of our angle is equal to opposite divided by adjacent. And that is 42 degrees. I'll put that degree symbol in there. And we're going to solve this. And you know we can go through all the steps in doing that. But long story short, we would find out what the tangent of 42 is in the calculator. The tangent of 42. And we get an answer. I'll go ahead and say that. Mine's 0 0.900. That I think 0.9 is sufficient. 0.9 equals x over 200. In the process. Ms. Kearns, if you're in the building, please come to the front office. Ms. Kearns, please come to the front office if you're still in the building. Thank you. Pardon the interruption. Um, at this point, we need to get x by itself, so we're going to multiply by 200. So we will multiply by 200. Cancels those out. Multiply by 200. So 0 0.9 times 200 is 180. 180 feet. So, question, what's the height of our building? 180 feet? No. The height of our building is not 180 feet. The height of our building is 186 feet. Because if they're asking, again, for the height of the building, that's 180. So we have 180 feet plus the 6 feet. And so we're going to have 186. I know I wrote something obvious, but I wanted you to see. Marshall Knight, please call room 407, please. Marshall Knight, please call room 407. Thank you. 186 feet. And there we go. Now, that's like one problem, but then sometimes you might have to find the measurement of an angle. So let me give you another example. In a situation like that, the steps on the calculator are going to be slightly different. So um, let's just, I'm just going to draw one. Of course, within yours, it's put in the context of a word problems. I'm just going to make up some numbers, and let's suppose it asks you to find the measure of a certain angle, and we'll, just, we'll, we'll call it theta, we'll put it right there, and this one's going to be a right angle. Now, yours in the word problem might be a little bit different. I'm not going to do one exactly like that. I'm going to kind of guide you up to it. So I'm just going to pick a couple random sides. Um, I'm going to say that's 11 inches. And we'll let this hypotenuse be, um, I don't know, 19 inches. And then the problem might say, find that angle right there, which would be, in this case, like if it's sitting on the ground, that would be the angle at the ground. So let's stop and look at what we have. And when you do your word problem, you might want to go ahead and draw a triangle and fill in the pieces. And then do, you'll, you'll kind of be at the same place that we are right now. So <clears throat> let's see. What side is that? Opposite, adjacent, or hypotenuse? Boy, I hope you said hypotenuse. That's the hypotenuse. Is this leg adjacent to our angle, or is it opposite our angle? I believe it is adjacent. Knowing that I have adjacent and hypotenuse, that guides me into picking the correct trig function. Adjacent and hypotenuse, um, no. Ah, found it. It's cosine. So the cosine of my angle that I don't know, I'll just use the Greek letter theta, is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Well, Mr. Reader, how in the world do I solve that? Thank you for asking. I need to get rid of cosine. I need to move cosine to the other side. And here's how you do it. I need to do the inverse cosine. So press second and cosine, and it pops up this little thing, cosine to the negative one. And what that really means in good plain English is, what's the measurement of my angle? So what's the measurement of an angle that's 11 over 19? 11 over 19, see, right there, 11 over 19. And I'm gonna hit enter. And I get 54.6. A lot of times people will just use whole numbers for angles. So 55 is good. The measurement of my angle is 55. 55 degrees. Okay, this is not on your quiz, what I'm about to show you, but it's worth showing you because it's super easy, just in case you're ever asked. If this angle is 55 degrees, 
Someone might walk up to you one day and say, hey, what's that third angle? You know this. I just wanted to remind you real quick. 180 degrees in every triangle. If we do 180 degrees and we subtract away 90 and subtract away 55, then we'll be left with that third angle. This is a 35 degree angle, in case you ever need to know.